Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Soul Blazer. So last we left off, we had finished out the first of the three shrines we needed to take care of to clear up Greenwood. And as a reminder, this tree just takes us straight back to our temple. So, we can't walk through these flowers. It'd be nice because there is a chest right there. And something tells me that chest is going to be far more useful than we would ever led to believe. But let's talk to the native fauna and flora that we have spawned. Turbo, the dog, the one Lisa talked about, I think, used to live with a human named Dr. Leo. Turbo learned a great many things, used branches from the trees to make rafts. Smart dog. So Turbo's an intelligent dog, at least intelligent enough to make rafts. What's your story? Member of the famous Woodston Trio. Hmm. I was gonna say, not much of a trio with only one member. He wants his delicious seeds. That would be them. And now we have the Psycho Sword. So let's actually equip that. Because it's a doubles it's basically a double strength sword over what we had. And those metal monsters that we've been meeting up till now that we couldn't hurt. Yeah, we can stun them for a bit with this sword. Still can't kill them. But definitely an upgrade. And we have to be at least level 5. Excuse me. We'd have to be at least level 5 to actually use it. So anyway... Not much else going on in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Talk with the stump and listen carefully. The stump gets a different font. I guess that's because it has to speak telepathically or something. So Turbo developed this whole land, huh? For animals, specifically. <laughs> okay. Ooh, sorry, did not mean to bump my mic. Couple holes in the ground. Really? Ah, so it smells fresh air and moles. There's an outhouse. This is your bathroom. This little section of... Thank you for letting me step in that. I'm glad you haven't been here long. Yeah, just got to clean my shoes now. But you can smell armor north of here. Something tells me the armor north of here is that. I'm gonna find a way to reorganize this landscape. Okay, hmm. where are we gonna go? Oh. Okay. Also by bouncing up and down. Ah! No, can't say I knew that particular bit of dog language. 
Oh, goody. Good for you. That'll be useful. I think we know where he is. Hey, bird? Bird. Bird. You come back? Yeah, give and take. It's mutually beneficial. Mm-hmm. Which we've cleared. Okay. Well. It is the light shrine. I don't know if I cheer up the monsters. So let's see here. I guess I should actually equip that back, huh? So now we have not just the soul of magician, but we have the soul of light joining us. That's good. We could use more soul. Must bring you something to belong to Monmo. Guess that's someone we will have to run into at some point. And that is a tree that has not woken up yet. Fair enough. No. Wimp, huh? What if I am? Oh. Fair enough. But, uh, hmm. Not much on this island right now. I'm pretty sure that's everything around here. We ended up with a sword. We know there's a set of armor around here that we will probably want at some point in time. Right up there. Hmm. So give me just one second to check my notes. Okay, the map has been checked. I just needed to make sure I had, well, enough time to do a very specific thing. And it wasn't leave town. No need to leave town. But, what I do want to do is go get that armor. Because that armor will be really, really useful very soon. Yeah. I'm just soaking up damage, aren't I? Sometimes these guys, uh, work with us. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they cheat. And by cheating, I mean hit me. Because it's just not fun for me to get hit. So, metals, these little metal scorpions here, we cannot actually kill. We can stun them. We can't kill them, though. See? We can stun them all day long. But if they run into us, we just, we're just going to take constant damage. I will leave that chest alone for now, because I may want it at a later point. 
And this flare is for all the metal scorpions that we can't kill yet. Oh, I wonder if we'll take care of both of these at the same time, or roughly close to it. Yep. That leads us down. Coming over here. Freeze up. A dog. Cool. That chest is just plain empty. Always empty. Let's not let ourselves get pinged by the scorpion there. Not if we can avoid it. Swinging sword. That's done. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. What have I done? There's another dog. This must be the brother of the one who said his, you know, brother guarded the graveyard. Ah, uh, yeah, these jerks. Kind of difficult to actually just outright beat until we get another level. Once we get the next level, they won't be quite so problematic. There we go. And beating them frees up another crocodile, giving us access to another island. I think. Yeah, I think that one gives us access to another island. Take the long way around. And then just kind of go straight up this way because there's another monster lair waiting for me right here. Good old squirrel. Dancing around the uh, log there. He will be. He will be running all around, little stump. That lair you see in the upper right is for the metal monsters here. So we can't quite touch that. We can't step on that lair, but it will stay beaten, so we don't have to worry about that. But now that we've cleared out this floor, we have a free run to go get the armor. And once I get the armor, I do believe that will make it a video. along with the free heal going that going up here gets me. So there are a couple of people we could talk to here since we did open up a few new areas or a few new people people a few new animals and a couple of areas. But someone's snoring and the squirrel doesn't know who's making the sound. It just happens to be this tree stump right here. So, what we need to do, because we creep on dreams, this is what we do. We equip the dream rod, touch the tree with it, see a bird flapping back and forth there, but before we talk to the bird, we want to open up this little passage right here. Because 
once we talk to the bird, we learn that the tree dreams of being a bird, so this is the tree. And then we get booted back out here rather unceremoniously. Because, well, we are creeping on their dreams, so why should there be ceremony? But anyway, near the outhouse, we now have the armor. So, anyway, now that we have the armor, we can cross fire without damage. And there's a very good reason I wanted to go get this armor, like, now, instead of waiting until we finish the Fire Temple. Because, well, Fire Temple has fire tiles that damage you when you walk across them, and they do a lot of damage. This ice armor negates it. Plus, it is just a straight-out upgrade. So now we don't have to worry about the fire damage tiles, which is very, very nifty indeed. But... All that aside for now, we are... Okay, good. It is. We are done for the moment. When we return, we will go ahead and finish out the Fire Temple. And then we will see what we can do about clearing a path. About trying to get into the uh, last area, the shrine. I keep calling these temples. Why do I do that? They're shrines. But once we finish fire, we will see what we have to do to open up the Light Temple. See, so yeah, I did it again. It's a shrine, not a temple. There's a difference. Shrines are often used by creepy people to stalk, you know, to help their stalking obsessions. Temples aren't. Okay, temples can be, but anyway. That's enough of me rambling. Take care, everybody. I will see you back next time as we continue to try to free all the souls in Greenwood. Later all.